Welcome back. As the city of Venice repaves about 70 miles of roadways, some residents are finding it hard to get around. Some were stuck in their homes today because their repaved road was just too fresh to even drive on. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us live from Venice with more. Christopher? Oh, good evening to you. Earlier today, this roadway was shut down while construction workers tore up the road and repaved it. And that made life particularly challenging for the folks who live down that dead end road. We're stuck. In case, if you have a doctor's appointment or you want to go to the airport, or you want to visit, we're stuck. <laughs> for the last 41 years, Ed Mislevichek has called this cul-de-sac home. Today, it was the only place he could be. They said it'll be a half a day before we can get out of this cul-de-sac because the road won't be finished until then. Ms. Silvacek is thrilled the road is being done, but he's annoyed that he wasn't told he'd be stuck at home during the project. The city says they're doing the best they can to post signs and send out automated calls. We definitely appreciate the patience of all of our residents as we uh, get these roads repaved. We know it's not a uh, clean process. 70 lane miles within the city are being torn up and repaved. It's all a part of the $18 million road bond voters approved last year. I would say we're probably about 20% of the way through the project, so we still have several months of paving. They're going to finish up here on the island and then move out east. The workers arrive early morning, tear up the old roadway, and lay down the new one. It's a delicate process of moving trucks, laying road tar, and packing it all down. It is kind of a small army that, that arrives so we can get it done quickly and efficiently, and that way the inconvenience is as short as possible. For the work they're doing, they're doing it very quickly. In fact, I'm surprised that they're doing it as fast as they are doing it, but they should have at least warned us, the city should have warned us that there would be this time element. By this point, the roadway is reopened now so drivers can resume their normal activity. But there is a 14 other roadways that are expected to be done over the next two weeks and then many more after that. City officials told us today nearly every home within the city will be impacted at some point over the next year. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Christopher, thank you. A state Senate panel narrowly approves a bill that would create a program that seeks to dissuade women from having abortions. Florida has had a pregnancy support services program since 2005 when lawmakers first agreed to fund it. The Florida Department of Health program exists because the legislature annually, provide, annually provides money for it. Now lawmakers earmarked $4 million in general revenue funds for the initiative in the current fiscal year. State Senator Aaron Bean's new bill would codify the program in state law, which makes them more permanent than approving them annually in the budget. The purpose of the facility really is to help people have a baby. That's that's the purpose of the of the network. There's uh, there's other places you can go to do other things, but for for this network, it's to promote life, and so that's uh, that's the mission of the network. I oppose HB 969 because of my concern for young people like myself. I hope that no one ever has to go through this kind of coercive and not accurate experience. The bill would require the state to contract with the Florida Pregnancy Care Network. That's a nonprofit organization that provides financial and other support to pregnant women and their families through an alliance of pregnancy support organizations. Well, a great night to get outside and enjoy the beautiful sunset that we're expecting tonight. Yeah, let's get more on that with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob. Yeah, we talked about it earlier, the uh, clouds and the upper levels of the atmosphere. Uh, once the sun sets, we'll just light up in all different brilliant colors. So that's going to be nice to see. Right now, 79 degrees. We have sunshine. The dew point is 65. Winds are out of the north, northwest light at 6. And the pressure, 29.96 inches. And as far as the temperatures go, we still have some mild conditions going on here along the sun coast. And that's a direct result of high pressure right now in mid to upper 70s. A little bit cooler right near the coast. 76 in Inglewood now, 77 in Cortez. The Gulf water temperature at 76. That's the reason why these are all pretty much uniform. That northwest wind keeping temperatures right in the mid 70s. A bit warmer in Sebring, Lake Placid and Arcadia now 83 degrees. And the wind flow, as I mentioned, out of the northwest. And that usually tends to keep things a little bit cooler when temperatures of the water are into the mid 70s to lower 70s. And then uh, northeast or northwest winds in warm mineral springs, but northeast uh, off into Harbor Heights and also Punta Gorda now. So that sea breeze has made its way well inland. The evening planner looks good. So if you are going to go out and do some outdoor activities, looks to be real quite nice, really quite nice. 68 degrees by 11 o'clock. More on your weather coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. New College of Florida freshmen getting to know the Sun Coast a little better today. Students boarded a Sarasota trolley for a tour through Newtown and a lesson in the community's rich history. 
The class saw churches, schools, and homes dating back to the 1800s in a tour led by lifelong Newtown resident Vicki Oldham. These students are part of the Explore SRQ class offered at New College that focuses on the dynamics and heritage of different parts of the Sun Coast. When we think about the places that matter in this region, the history, the black history of Sarasota is really essential when it's saying how and why Sarasota developed as it did. The hope is these students can see the changes the community went through and what the possibilities are for the future. And students from the Ringling College of Art and Design made some new friends at the Senior Friendship Center in Sarasota this morning. A dozen art students brought their sketch pads and pencils and were able to share eye contact, some smiles and laughter as their artwork helped to bridge the generations. We had a couple painters over there. We had some um, fine artists. We had someone from um, New Jersey that, that was actually like a world, world renowned over here, which is pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this all began as a research project on aging. They found that artwork is a way to connect on a deeper level. This is the first time that Ringling has done this in seven years. Certainly artwork can span many generations and bring so many people together. That's awesome. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, the link between alcohol and cancer. Sobering research finds drinking can lead to thousands of cancer-related deaths each year. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Attention type 2 diabetics. The FDA warns of an increased risk of amputation associated with certain diabetes medications. If you took the diabetes medications Invulcana or Invulcamet and then suffered an amputation or one of these other serious injuries, call the Rely On Group right now. If you've suffered amputation or any of these injuries after taking your diabetes medication, call the Rely On Group today. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. The FDA has recently warned about an increased risk of leg and foot amputations associated with the use of certain diabetic medications, such as Invokana and Invokamet. If you or a loved one took the diabetes medications Invokana or Invokamet and then suffered an amputation, ketoacidosis, kidney failure, or even death, call the Rely On Group now. We are here to help you get the justice you deserve. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-355-8205. That's 800-355-8205. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. A new warning about drinking too much alcohol, and for some, it could be hard to swallow. With more, here's ABC News correspondent Janae Norman. 
Drink to your health, a common toast that perhaps should come with a caveat. Overdoing it may lead to cancer. This according to a new report, the American Society of Clinical Oncologists releasing a statement urging drink lovers to watch their alcohol consumption. And the research they cite, sobering. Drinking linked to 3.5% of all cancer deaths in the U.S. That's about 21,000 Americans each year. And a concerning link, but yet one of which past research shows two out of three Americans are unaware. But remember, people who engaged in moderate to heavy drinking are at greater risk. And studies show some potential benefits of that occasional drink. So the next time you raise a glass or two, just make sure sure it doesn't turn into three or more. A simple tip that could keep your cancer risk at bay. With this Medical Minute, I'm Janae Norman, ABC News. Now your ABC 7 first alert weather forecast with geologist Bob Harrigan. Wow, well, I'll tell you what, this is Lakewood Ranch webcam, and uh, you can see a beautiful day out there. Had some high clouds, Rob, but then here comes another look, different direction. That is the tower cam looking out over Sarasota Bay and just a spectacular sight. I told, I told you this is going to happen because of these high clouds and it's even going to get better, I think, over the next uh, half hour or so uh, as a gorgeous sunset is taking place with all different kinds of colors out there. Again, uh, we are looking at uh, current conditions. There it is again. Uh, 79 degrees, the sun is set, and uh, the dew point temperature at 65. Now winds are out of the north, northwest at 6, and the pressure 29.96 inches. Still high, but it has been falling ever so slightly today. The high today was 84 degrees. That's above average. Our normal high, 80, uh, record high, 90. That was set back in 1987. This morning's low, a couple degrees above average and no rainfall. It's been dry so far for the month, and for the year, we're still well above average. Temperatures around the area into the mid-70s at Holmes Beach and also Cortez, 74, 75 at Whitney Beach, 77 now at Longbow Key and 79, Palm Air. Uh, temperatures in the mid-70s in places like Kensington Park, Southgate, and Siesta Key now. 78 degrees where the Crystal Classic is uh, taking place this weekend and uh, 79 degrees uh, now reported into, uh, again, Osprey, 81 in Plantation in Venice, East Venice, Northport at 82, and Venice itself now 76. So the closer you are to the water, just a slightly cooler temperature as a result of that northwest wind. The future cast is indicating the front coming down. Now these cold fronts are not going to make it all the way through. The next couple of fronts will not uh, really blast through and cool us down significantly. We'll get a little bit of a cooling trend uh, beginning next week, but uh, not an extreme blast like we saw a couple of weeks ago. This one falls apart, still an increase in somewhat uh, cloudiness on Thursday, and then uh, this kind of fades away. As a result, we'll have some east winds and cause some showers along the east coast, but that would be about it. We talked about this earlier. Rena continues to uh, be a tropical storm, but this front's going to pick it up. It's also moving over some very cold waters in about a day and a half from now, so it will be downgraded to an extra tropical storm here coming up pr fairly soon. Now, the satellite and radar review is showing some showers and storms from near Dallas, stretching to southern portions of Arkansas tonight and into western portions of Mississippi. All that associated with that frontal boundary, which is going to fade before it reaches us. Uh, much colder air to the north of it and to uh, much of the Great Lakes. All right, now 41 in Boston. It's 47 in Detroit, 37 in Green Bay, and temperatures on the cool side, uh, Ar Arctic air mass still kind of bottled up to the north there. Bismarck in the 20s, 47 though in Dallas. So things starting to chill out over the deep south, but not here. We're in the yellows and reds here. Temperatures remaining fairly warm as a result of that high pressure ridge, which remains in control, 59 degrees in Atlanta. Well, for boating tomorrow, northeast winds turn to the northwest at 5 to 10 knots, and we'll have seas running 1 to 2 feet. Now, the winds and seas will pick up over the weekend, so we'll have a moderate chop as opposed to a light chop, both on Saturday and Sunday, so boaters keep that in mind. The water temperature down, warming up 76 degrees, and the UV index will be high tomorrow at 11. We'll have uh, just a few clouds around after the fog burns off in the morning, and uh, the patchy fog will be around to start the day off tomorrow. Low tide up coming 842 and another one at 1140 tomorrow morning. Sunset at 542. So tonight mostly fair, a little bit of patchy fog, 66 for a low. And then tomorrow doesn't get much better. Again, just a little bit of patchy fog in the morning. Otherwise, partly cloudy, 83 for your high. The extended forecast calling for delightful weather through the uh, Saturday. We'll see a better chance for showers and storms on Sunday as this front slowly moves on in. And then slightly cooler temperatures start the work week next week. Back to you.
All right, thank you so much, Bob. Time now to check your first alert traffic for the drive home. There is some backup on US 301 near the intersection with State Road 70. There's also some congestion on Ringling Bridge for those of you heading off the key and backup on US 41 south of Fruitville Road. The Manatee Chamber of Commerce Business Showcase is still underway now in Palmetto. The event is giving about 150 local companies the opportunity to highlight their products and services for the community. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates is there and she joins us live with an update. Bo Beth? Yes, this expo is in full swing. As you said, over 150 companies lining the aisles. Now, I managed to come down one of those aisles, and you have everything here from general contractors to repair your home to health care providers to even cell phone companies. Literally everything you can imagine is here. Now, this event has been going on for more than two decades, with officials saying each year they strive to get better and better, and the hope is to get residents in this community acclimated with the businesses in this area so the two can connect and earlier we were able to get it um, to speak to some of uh, those in attendance and here's what they had to say and my mom just passed in August and I'm here trying to get her house together and I would like to meet you know some of the vendors that maybe can help me well, me and my partner Joe are a local business here in town. We do digital marketing for video and social media marketing, and we heard that there was going to be over 150 other businesses here. So we're really, really excited to come out and meet people in the community and meet the businesses in the community. Linda, we're coming to you. All right, again, I have been walking up the aisles, seeing multiple of the vendors here. Um, over 150, and I managed to stumble on our table for the of course, Linda Carson. Hello, so what happened? Tell I'm, me what happened. I'm sitting here signing autographs. People are asking me to sign my picture, and I'm signing away. And somebody came back and said, you know you're signing Bo Beth Yates pictures, don't you? So I'm signing your pictures with my <laughs> name, and I didn't even know the difference. <laughs> All right, well, Linda, ABC7, and more than 150 other businesses are right here at the 2017 uh, Chamber Expo. So you want to come out? We'll be out here till around 7 o'clock. Back to you guys. All right, Linda will sign just about anything yes, you put she in will. front of her because she has a lot of fans out there for sure. Entertainment news is next. Do you need a good laugh? Starting November 1st at the Player Center, everything that can go wrong does go wrong in the smash hit comedy Moon Over Buffalo. This wild Broadway series production shows what happens both on stage and off. Contact the players at 365-2494 or at theplayers.org. The show must go on with Moon Over Buffalo. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients.
It's the holiday sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. The creator of the Broadway musical Hamilton, Lynn Manuel Miranda, is partnering with a nonprofit group to raise more than $2 million for Puerto Rico. Miranda visiting the island yesterday and said the organization will award at least 25 grants for reconstruction projects. Nearly two months after the storm, about 40 of Puerto Rico's 78 municipalities are still without power, and nearly 20% of the island remains without water. Miranda is also scheduling to meet with students at the University of Puerto Rico. Well, Nashville is getting ready for one of the biggest nights in country music. We're just hours away from the start of the Country Music Awards. Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood celebrating a decade as hosts, and the show is not expected to be anything like the previous 50 years. Marcy Gonzalez reports from Nashville. Final preps and sound checks underway. <laughs> for country music's biggest night. It'll be a, a really great show. The celebration of the 51st annual CMA Awards kicked off this morning on GMA, with the winners in two categories announced, Video of the Year Brothers Osborne. and Musical Event of the Year. Funny how time slips away, Glenn Campbell, Campbell and Billy Nelson. Followed by a performance by Kelsey Ballerini. Beautiful for a moment, we were She'll take the stage again tonight at the Bridgestone Arena for a duet with Reba McIntyre. I am excited about it. I mean, it's it's a different song for me, totally different. And so it's it's going to be challenging for me, but I'm going to nail it. Both artists are among the nominees for Female Vocalist of the Year, and Reba's presenting the night's biggest award, Entertainer of the Year. Yeah. Fellow country music icon Garth Brooks, who's also performing tonight, hoping for his sixth win in that category. That would be nice. I'll take every reason why it should happen. And happening for the 10th consecutive year, Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood returning as hosts of what's expected to be a fun but also emotional night. The first time the country music community has gathered since the concert massacre in Las Vegas. There's no ignoring what we've been through in country music and in America this year, so. And it'll start with what Lady Annabellum tells me will be a heartfelt opening act featuring them, Eric Church, Darius Rucker, and Keith Urban, who, by the way, is tied with Miranda Lambert for the most nominations tonight. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Nashville. Well, if you won't be home or in front of a TV screen, you can listen to the CMA Awards on the radio. Sirius XM will air an audio simulcast of the award show from 8 to 11 p.m. Looking forward to it. I'm a huge fan of country music. But again, just watch right here on ABC 7. Of course. See it all. We'll be right back with more news. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com.